Hi, today I'm going to show you how to knit this yoga socks. Let's get started. Cast on 60 or multiple of 4. You might have to redo a few times until you find the right size. My size is very small. When you need about the uh, 1 to 1.5 inch, you might have to try it on and make sure it fits you. Let's connect both ends. From now on, you will knit round, not back and forth. You have to use the uh, magic glue technique. If you don't know how to do the uh, magic glue, I will put the uh, link in my description box and practice a little bit and then come back. Okay? It's super easy. I split in half, I'm getting ready for the magic glue, and make sure the stitch are not twisted, this is very important. So let's get started, repeat off. Knit 2 and purl 2 until your desired length. Just about the, uh, the 1 to 1 and a half above your heel. That's where you stop. So it's really up to you. And this knit 2 purl 2 design, I will use whole socks. Okay, so the basic is need to pro to. It's very simple design. Okay? Again, the length of your socks is up to you. But just imagine you have to stop one to one and a half inch above the heel. Okay? And I'm just showing you the uh, from the uh, second row, you just have to knit over knit stitch and purl over purl stitch. You don't really have to think about anything. Okay? And you just keep, you know, knitting, knit to purl to. There you go. This is other, you know, the sock. I already knitted it. So, knit 2 and purl 2 and 60 cast is, sounds very small, but, you know, it stretch like that. And I need about 4 inch until you hit the heel, like that. Okay. Here comes, I needed it about the uh, 4 inch. Of course, I have to count the, uh, the rows because I already knit the other half, so it has to be exactly the same, okay? And count, stitch, and place the marker in exactly half. My cast is 60, so 30 and 30. Okay, and now you have to bind off 
first 30 stitch right there okay now you have to make the opening for heel okay so the top part is come to you know bottom of your foot So let's bind off half stitch. Knit over knit stitch and purl over purl stitch bind off. So knit two first, then one bind off. And next two stitch will be purl. So make purl, then bind off. This way, a little bit, you know, better look. I'm the end of the uh, first half okay three more stitch to go to finish the uh, bind off okay whenever you reach mid marker you have one stitch on your right needle okay let me show you here okay one more stitch to go there you go. Done. There's a mid marker. But one stitch left on your right needle. You have 31 stitch now. Okay? Which means you have to bind off one more stitch to make complete half. Okay, this is important because you know it has to be need to and pearl to technique after this. So, and now you have 30 stitch. Now you will have to add new cast and 0 to 10 stitches less than what you just bind off. Okay, I bind off 30. Okay, so I'm gonna make less new cast because the, the foot thickness is smaller than my, you know, the ankle. Okay, and that makes more fit. Okay, how to make sure, you know, it's big enough or small enough? Just wear that you know the two in halfway stop around your arch and you can feel it's too loose or too small or right size then you have to decide how many stitches you want to decrease okay and important thing is the total of whole stitch including the uh, new cast has to be multiple of four because it will continue need two and pearl two design okay and before you add new cast you have to keep knitting the other half for me 30 more stitch knit two and purl two but this time purl two and knit two just knit over knit stitch and purl over purl stitch okay after you knit the other half now you will add new cast i decide to add 22 new cast okay my half of the uh, the cast was 30 60 divided by 2 is 30 
then I decide I'm gonna decrease 8 more stitch so I add 22 which means 30 plus 22 is 52 that's multiple of 4 okay so I make 22 cast so 52 total again that's gonna be multiple of 4 so I can do the uh, need to per 2 right so now you have to reconnect which is magic loop technique kicks in again so cut in half it doesn't have to be you know half half and reconnect both ends please make sure which stitch will come first okay there we go for me pearl two to start okay make sure the new cast is not twisted to tell you the truth I had to go back because my you know cast was twisted so before you reconnect make sure it's not twisted and again keep knitting knit to purl 2 technique maybe purl 2 knit 2 this time seems like need to purl 2 okay make sure which stitch you ended because this is new cast so you really have to create you know knit or purl and I was a little bit struggling to pick up the, the stitch because it was really tight and I was using the, uh, the uh, thin yarn so just you know take your time for knitting I believe you need a lot of patience after first row it's easy just knit over knit stitch and purl over purl stitch now you make the opening for your heel okay and if you think your heel is much bigger you can actually add cast but mm, I don't think so usually your you know the foot is smaller than your you know the ankle okay but again depend on the other uh, person the beauty of making own yoga socks is you can adjust the numbers depending on the uh, the, the person okay so do pretty much whatever you like and I needed about the uh, three inches after the uh, the opening. Then cast off, which is knit over knit stitch, purl over purl stitch. I used to cast off with knit stitch, no matter what. But changing the uh, knit and purl stitch looks a little bit better. Okay? And after cast off, just cut the, uh, the yarn. And for this project, it took me about the uh, two days. I wasn't knitting all day, you know, here and there, because I still have to do some, you know, house chores. 
it's super easy and this is a great gift idea because lots of people do yoga or any dance ballet anything you know the floor is kind of cold but you can't wear the socks if you don't know their size just grab the uh, the socks and just compare it enjoy knitting <laughs>